Hey gang, Jack Lair here, uh, just with a uh, quick video and a, a little bit of a story. So uh, long, long ago, let's see, this would have been early 90s, uh, I had a Super Nintendo and my neighbor had a uh, Sega Genesis. So uh, every once in a while we would trade consoles and then I would go to uh, the Blockbuster, which was about five miles away. One of the games that I did remember, the game series rather, uh, is a game called Road Rash. Now, uh, I always played it on the Genesis. This is Road Rash 2. This was my favorite uh, by far. Um, and the cartridge looks like this for those of you who don't know, but it had uh, an interesting lore and there were characters and all kinds of stuff that I didn't pay any attention to. But I had always wondered what happened to it because it was on the Genesis, it was on the PlayStation, and then I think it just kind of disappeared. And then lo and behold, I found... Road Redemption is a game initially released on September 18th, 2014, and released for PC on October 4th, 2017. So it's a fairly old game at this point. The game is developed by EQ Games and Pixel Dash Studios and had a very friendly screen to let us players of this game know that it's stream friendly. Road Redemption has three basic modes. The campaign mode, the online mode, and quick play mode. In campaign mode, you get to choose your bike and rider and then begin the campaign, which has a story to it. and is a rogue light with a skill tree that levels up with experience. And a shop that shows up between the sections of the map for upgrades that only last for that run. Some of the races you need to finish a certain place. Uh, normally, for me, it was third or higher. Another type of race is a time trial in which you just need to get to the finish before the clock gets to zero. Another mode that stuck out was the elimination mode, where you just had to eliminate a certain number of the marked people in order to proceed. Ah, after this, the Reapers are going to be running around like chickens with it. The online mode puts you on a team and has the teams racing to see who can get to the finish the fastest. This mode allows you to pick up weapons, there are shortcuts, and there are a swarm of cops that will badger you along the way and a separate experience bar which unlocks only things for multiplayer the mode labeled classic quick play i never got around to because i was having so much fun playing the other modes I'm also impressed that there is a phone number to call at the end of each campaign run so you can let the developer know if you're having fun. Come in. Did you call me? Hell yeah. Show them what the jackals are made of. As a spiritual successor for a game series that ran from 1991 to 2000, Road Redemption makes a great time in 2020. I'm also delighted by the options of both split-screen multiplayer as well as online multiplayer, so I can play it with people that I'm locked down with as well as those who are locked down elsewhere. This is a great package for people like me who played Road Rash back in the day, as well as people who are looking for a game about riding motorcycles and knocking other people off theirs. So, there you have it. Uh, 
an, an old game, but a new game that looks like an old game, but plays like an old game. So um, I was happy to play it either way. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, play on.